Fuck. Corsair. Okay, so. I mean, that's not like the ship 9 of 500 where I was so upset that they were so good. Well, it kind of is. Okay, so. I've done. This is the fourth, like, review of a wireless gaming headset. I started with the HyperX Clouds flights, and then Audio Technica sent me their whatever the fucking Audio Technica this is. Is it like the GL QB nine hundred and seven? Whatever. They're super light and comfortable. Like, like those good sound, change of pads, quality. Those ultra lightweight, like amazing. I'd buy them like a real headphone like that. The, the, these, uh, but then like you hit the button, it's like, oh, but then they're heavy. So sent to me, no, wait, I bought those. I bought those, sent to me, sent to me, I bought these. Cause I wanted just four, I wanted to round it out. And everyone's like, oh, you gotta, someone literally just said one comment, hey, you gotta do the Corsair Virtuoso. And in a way, I'm so happy that person said that. Did this just sneeze at me? Because j just for the unboxing video, link in the description, by the way, there's a separate unboxing channel. Um, to, to take a pair of headphones, uh, you know, they came in like the, like the standard sleeve. And then I opened the box and then the headphones were sitting in this box. And I don't know what to expect because it's Corsair and I don't buy like gaming peripherals. And other, but you open it up and it's like, is that a black pleated bag? with the yellow and, and the metal logo, and these were just sort of sitting there, like, uh, like, uh, on top of it. Actually, how the hell were they sitting on top of this? Because it doesn't make enough, there's not enough space for it. But they were somehow in here, and I took them out off the pleated bag, and I literally went, in the unboxing, these are the nicest made headphones I've ever touched. Which is a lie, because I've touched Meze Empyreans. But that's like, that's the best headphone I've ever touched. And this is a second place headphone. I'm looking at you, 909s. I love the way your wood is done, but you know, you do like flimsy things and it's not always, it's always a little bit in the headband. This is a perfect headphone as far as build goes. Like I, I was floored by the size of the cups, the pads, while not like super duper round and large. They, oh, that's how they, they did fold. They're just stiff. God, the mechanism just to turn this is so stiff. I'm so stiff touching a set of Corsair headphones. And then when you pulled out the bag and you got into the bottom thing, it had all the accessories. And that's where the microphone was. This microphone, this absolutely astonishingly well-built machined metal push button USB mini with the notch and then this like knurling here and then they've got the smooth shaft that's thicker than most shafts. This review is going fine. That you could bend and play. It doesn't stay as far in place as you would have some other ones, but that's fine. And then you have this knurling to this big bulbous motherfucker with the microphone. And that turned out to be an LED ring to indicate if it's muted or not that you could see out of the corner of your eye. And ah, oh, and then you, let me, let me unfuck the headphones for a second. So then you also got out the little dingle donger, the dingle dangle donger there. And I'm like, oh wow, that's that's got knurling on it just like this has knurling on it. There's actually no knurling on the headphone. Oh yes, there are. The, the volume button. I'm sorry, not volume button, volume knob. And I'm sorry, not volume knob. The best feeling, smooth, buttery knob on any device. Like I've got two, three thousand dollar daps here. Uh, dusty. Here's a KN that's got like a tube amp built in that's like three grand. And this knob is not as nice. Gently put you down, gently. As this knob on a Corsair gaming headset. Like, I don't know who did, it's metal. It's not like it's made of like plastic. That's metal knurled knob. And then you got this nice little switch that pops down a wired or wireless connection. This part of the cup is metal. This part of the cup is metal. In fact, you see that Corsair logo? If we switch this to wireless, that is perforations, micro perforations, like they put on the fucking um, Brooklyn DAC. Those little micro perforations. That the, so it just, it, it's, it's perfectly smooth, metal, but I don't care about the LEDs and we'll talk about the software for a bit. 
But like that's this is classy fucking stuff. I actually, put blue tack on blue tack on this, which I didn't know those were holes when I did it because I just wanted to not lose the transmitter. And now that's got blue tack permanently in the hole, so it's forever. But every single piece of this headphone feels about as premium as you would ever need to make a headset. Astronaut grade, fucking submarine pilot, nuclear submarine pilot grade headphone. The screws that, that, that get covered when you rotate over it. The, the, nothing, none of these edges, like these edges should be sharp. I've complained a lot. When you turn this all exposed sharp edges, all that metal is cut off at the edges and giving you 20, 45 degrees. The headband, while rather plain and probably the plainest thing, is still a big, soft, cushy, flexible, linear headband. Everything about these headphones screams quality. Even the front says, well, it says high fidelity, which is not high quality. That's the problem. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm yelling. That's why I'm angry. I just did the sound demo. Literally, the, the, the recorder's still on. And I've never finished a sound demo faster. I was just so upset by it because I know that every wire that it came with has custom knurling to match all the other knurlings on it and the USB adapter and the other end of the USB all have the knurling to match and it's got this wonderful unboxing experience in this bag and the yellow and everything it plays sounds like a Corsair gaming headset. And that's the problem. I had just slightly elevated hopes. Like, you know, gaming headsets in general, Zeos is just sort of like, I hope you're good. The flights, honestly, very good. Links to the flights in the description. The Audio Technicas, whatever the hell your model number is, because I can't remember. No. They were a no, but my God, they were comfortable. I kind of got upset as those, because these are like so fucking light. They're so light and so comfortable and linear, and then they had that weird wire, and there was other issues. But this headphone, and it's a headphone, as long as this isn't attached to it, it's not a headset, it's a headphone. But it had so much potential. Like, if it just sounded good, I would love to be able to recommend this. Love, fucking L, O, V, E, to recommend this. But it don't. It, it, actually, it actually pains me to listen to it. Because you put it on, and I'm in wireless mode currently, I could adjust the volume. It's very, very long stroke volume. So if you're at the bottom here, one push up entirely is only 8% volume. 14, 20, 26. You can you could ride your entire palm up in a 92%. So it's not like big chunky, but it's like, ah, ah, it's just oh, gentle, to gently adjust it. And it's all digital too. It's not like this is an analog that's gonna go click, click. You're adjusting it somewhere else. And it's doing such a good job. That's why I picked this wallpaper. She is so well dressed, but she's putting on gloves because she got to kill somebody. And I'm putting on gloves because I have to kill somebody. You see, I paid not for the normal one of these because when, when people were like, hey, get it, it was like, oh, I could get the premium edition for $159. But I said, fuck it. If Zeos is buying a gaming headset, you bet your ass he's going for the special edition. $200 I paid for it. It's currently $210. And for $200, this build quality is absurdly unheard of. Love, fuck, fuck you. I do this all day. Focal fucking Stellias are not built as well as this. Those are $3,000. These are $200. How? I don't know. I mean, there's no leather on this that has leather, but that, that doesn't mean like the actual functioning structure and comfort is better on this than anything there maybe the acoustic research i would fight because i said those are fucking amazingly built well built but i feel like these take it i mean it doesn't look like a, a crazy headphone yeah it's got a yoke yeah it's got a hinge and it got a slider but i've never never had consistently everything built so well like just so well you have to trust me on that because you're not buying them so I mean, I almost want to recommend people buy them just to touch them, but find someone who's got it. 
I'll, I'll walk you around them like it's a real review. Here's where you plug in your uh, microphone, and it doesn't have a cover like the f fucking stupid Cooler Masters. You just unplug this, and this, just this piece alone, is enough to sell you on the build quality. Because it has a notch, it's got a USB mic, USB mini. I plug mic on. Mic off. Mic off. Jack off. Mic on. Mic off. That's gonna be a lot of people's girlfriends because she's hot. Here, you, green, look, look. Mic off. Beautiful metal button. Here's your input. Um, the wire it came with, obviously. Plugged into the topping A90, being fed by the Aoun S8. Just so I could, you know, it bypasses all the controls. The volume control and everything stops working when you plug that in. And I'm glad because that means I was accessing the raw drivers. In fact, when you had the three and a half millimeter plugged in and the USB, so it was acting as a USB DAC into this, both could play at the same time, which I didn't think was gonna be a thing. Um, the wire, uh, fabric, I actually spent a good amount of time hanging them over the door frame to sort of straighten them out. Still a little bit wavy, like you could see the waves in there. But um, still, a like the quality of everything. Why you got fuck with me? This is so sad. This is a sad, sad panda. Wired. Great Gatsby love his blindness. I know music. I know all my music. And I know certain songs. And there's a certain amount of emotional attachment I have to every track. And I should, when I hear this song from Grand Theft Auto, which is Machito and his Afro-Cuban Orchestra. Mm, it's too long to even read the goddamn name. Mambo, mucho, mambo. Like, I should feel like dancing. And I feel like taking these headphones off. All right. Uh, it's gotta be something that sounds good. Oh, that sounds decent. Okay. Everything starts off sounding decent. And then it keeps playing. And then you go, oh, how bland. I wish these weren't built this nice. This would be so much easier to just to just ignore them and be like, eh. Like the, high, the flights are not built that great. Th these are not built that great and they're too big. Those are built really well and light and they suck. You are built really fucking well. And you suck. It isn't even like they suck to the point where they're bad, though. That's my dilemma. If they were bad, I could tell you just these are garbage. You can't. But they're they're at the absolute minimum amount of eh that I'm contemplating telling you to just invest in them for the build quality. Very, very fucking rare that I will tell you to buy something for build and not for sound. I mean, it's a fucking wireless gaming headset. You're better off with the flights. You're better off with these fucking stupid things with that weird 7.1 button, which by the way, these do claim 7.1, but not on the box, only on the website and in the software, because I had to install that fucking like 300 meg package, which is currently disabled because it's wired and it's not wireless to this or wired without USB to this. But this is it. This is the entirety of the control scheme for these headphones. You get lighting effects, which lets you shut off the lights, Pick the lights, put rainbow, I said it's a rainbow and fast. Bullshit, fucking RGB bullshit. Fuck RGB and its whole fucking society. If you're RGB society, you better dislike this video. Cause fuck RGB. All right, keep it the fuck off the audio spectrum. Nothing up there has RGB and I love them all. And you too can be like me and free. Free from the RGB nightmare. Just, just, just make it stop. Please just make it stop. Anyway, off of the rainbow effects, you have EQ presets, which I was hoping, beyond hope, that some sort of hidden button would make these sound good. But instead they give you EQs, which are just a basic fucking 10 band EQ. You know, plus 12, minus 12. Pure direct, which is what is in by default, which thankfully that's at least the case. And then you get pure, then you get music, I'm sorry. You get pure direct, movie theater, FPS competition, clear chat, which boosts the fuck out of the vocal range, like to the point where it hurts. And then bass boost, which is just bonk. So no weird enableable DSP correction of the drivers, which at least 
that's what the cooler masses feel like they're trying to do is correct them. I know that's what the HyperX flights are doing. And you can't even change it on the unit. I'm like, wait, it says 7.1. The box doesn't say 7.1. There's no button. I'm like, I'm trying to press this in and like tap areas on this. Maybe there's a, it's so nicely built. This whole thing could be a touch surface for all the fuck I know. Maybe you have to hold the switch in or something. Nope. If you want to put on 7.1, which I've already discussed is horseshit, you got to come here, you got to come here, and you got to click stereo, and then it says 7.1 surround, and then it sounds even shittier. It takes what is a, a bad sound, a, a boring and plain Jane sounding, you know, white bread with nothing on it headphone, and it dunks it into three day old coffee. And it's like, oh, uh, uh. So then, so that, uh, no, so no, it's just, this is such a fucking no. Like there's so many things I, I, I'm tempted to not sell this in the yard sale, which by the way, if you support on Patreon or subscribe star from the first to the 10th of every month, I sell things in the yard sale. Like all the gaming headsets were going to go in the yard sale. And I was going to see, I was going to hold a little competition to see who bid the highest on each because I'm shitting on these, but these are pretty fucking expensive. $200, $210 now, but they're, Somebody out there who doesn't give a shit about the words coming out of my mouth might end up in the yard sale to bid on it. And I want to know. I want to know if people are bidding based on what I've said about things or based upon, oh, I just want that Crosshair Virtuoso because it's so pretty. <sighs> I hate this headphone. I fucking hate it. It represents just the failed opportunity to do something great. Corsair, if you're watching this, maybe one of you have, I'm sure you have a million employees and one of them is just sent out just on the internet just to fucking find articles and, and comments and streamers that are talking about your headsets. Hi, I'm one of the biggest. Stop fucking up the sound. I would highly recommend these for just everyday shit kicking music. First of all, you'd add Bluetooth to the inside. LDAC, please. I'm making a request. Because the only headphone that I could think of wireless Bluetooth that, that is any fucking, that, that I would hold absolutely in, in line with everything there is the, is the Drop Panda, which I don't have a Drop Panda here. But if this build, and the Drop Panda is not built poorly, keep that in mind. But if this were the build of the Drop Panda, why would anyone need any other headphone? Because that thing with the Planar and the T THX amps but the THX doesn't matter because the tuning is perfect. And these claimed on the fucking packaging, wait, wait, matched pair of precisely tuned 50 millimeter ne neodymium speaker drivers. I don't know who tuned your shit, but they should be fired. Fire them, Corsair. I know people are buying your shit anyway because, oh, RGB, and it's, it's really well built. And now, if I saw these at a LAN and I was picked them up and I was like, holy fuck, and I couldn't listen to them, I'd still consider buying them because of how nice they're built. But they sound like horseshit. They're just boring. They absolutely provide, they provide audio delivery via wireless. That is their full description. Zios, what did you say about the Corsair Virtuoso? They provide sound of an equivalent uh, quality to other $30 headphones. And I can't even use that anymore because KPH30Is exist at $30 and they're fucking God tier. So, fuck. Fuck Corsair. Fuck. Fuck. Like I was upset at the Audio Technicas, but they were like at least like, 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 yeah, they have so much potential loss. And these are just the best built headphones. This fucking knob, this fucking beautiful knob. I want to have to use this knob in my day to day life. And I can't now. And it sucks. Wait, it sounds good for three seconds. Wait. Okay. There's stereo. Come on. Do something. These are the most generic sounding headphones I've ever fucking used. Let's unplug that. That was Bruce Willis, by the way. Switch it back to wireless. I say this, you switch it, things just, boom, they're good. I have to find, like, enter. 
Enter, 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 enter. Now escape, 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 escape. Enter, 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 enter. What do you mean playback failed? I hate you. There you go. No, it's because it was wasabi and it. it did a thing. I even like it with the fucking mic on. Alright, I want you... Um, this battery's probably gonna die because I did like three sound demos now this, but um... There's a little... I've had to say something negative about the about it. There's a little bit of a scraping sound when you lower the volume. But it's just... It, just, it doesn't matter. because it's. It, how do they get this fluid resistance on it? Are there sandwich felt pads? Because it's fucking amazing. Oh, wait, do I have 7.1 on? Because that would murder it. Yeah, I do. That sounds way worse. Yeah, no, it, it's it's barely a change, but it's just enough of a change to make it sound like three day old coffee bread. This is Armin van Buren. This is like... Uh, all right, not for this. How do I shut this shit off? Go to sleep. Um, I would thanks Corsair for making a really good headphone, but it sucks, so no one will go buy it. Sorry. Um, people are more likely to buy the flights and those, because at least those have an option of like sounding really intense or sounding like relaxed. Like the, but at least I like the way they sounded. And I mean, you could just judge them by the fucking weight. Look at the giganticism that this thing has versus this like slim, lean, round, round. I don't mind the oval, but still, oh, just, oh God, it could have been such a good headphone. Headphone, not even headset, just headphone on a pleated fucking bag. Look at this thing. Look at this fucking pleated bag. Oh God. They came in the box and was like this and was like, oh my science. Well, science didn't help us this time. All right, I'm done. Uh, it's sound up in the description. This uh, channel's rantings and ravings are supported by viewers like you via Patreon and Subscribestar. And if I do sell... Son of a bitch. Battery died. All right, so I'm using the uh, Corsair Virtuoso's power wire, um, USB wire, to just finish the outro. Um, what was I saying? Support this channel and buy me more GoPro batteries via Patreon and Subscribestar. And if you do that, then I can keep being honest about these fucking product... Oh, my God. I can get real close now because it's, like, it's like, oh god. Oh, it's so smooth. You don't even understand the smoothness and how nice these fucking are. Um, support on Patreon, subscribe star. Five dollars a month gets you into the yard sale where you might be able to buy these if I just don't decide to rip them apart and put fucking TH900 drivers in them just for shits and giggles. I mean, I don't know if the amplification, the amplification from that sounds exactly the same as the internal amplification without any adjustment. So it's probably got okay amplification. But if I decide to just sell them, which I probably will do, uh, you can buy all of these things in the yard sale coming up, first to the 10th of every month. I ship for free content to the United States, half shipping international. Uh, ask me questions you want on platform with messages, try to keep it short. If you want to see these reviews early, you can see all these reviews early at least by two weeks, which is great when I love something and they disappear. But if you were gonna buy this and I waited two weeks, um, sorry, you really shouldn't have. And then finally, the $10 Patreon... It's a $10 Telegram chat, not a Patreon chat, because you can get it on Patreon or Subscribestar. Behind the scenes, ask me questions directly. You see exactly what I've unboxed on the unboxing channel or it, just in my day-to-day -day postings there. And you can ask me any questions you want. Uh, don't forget to download all the wallpapers in the description of these videos. Check out the artists on Sauce Now or IQDB. And then, um, what else? Uh, Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guide forums. And they don't have a specific gaming headset section. I may have added the flights. But, like, of the of the four, those are the only ones I'd, like, give the full nod to. Because they're still they're the first ones I reviewed, and they're still the best sounding. These, these, these do things with, oh, fuck. And, oh, fuck. So, that's it. Sound demo in the description if you want to know what these sound like to my $1,500 microphones, which are right there. Those are my Neumann, uh... Cam 184s. So those will, will, will tell you. Those will seek the true true. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for all well, the sound demo and then the day after that for something that's probably not a fucking gaming answer. I'm so pissed.